<clears throat> Trigonometry, Chapter 5, Trigonometric Identities, Section 1, Fundamental Identities. Video 3, Evaluating Trig Functions Using Identities, Example 1. This series is based on content from Pearson's Trigonometry 12th edition by Lyle, Hornsby, Schneider, and Daniels. In the previous video, we developed the even and odd identities. Specifically, the following are even functions. Cosine of negative theta equals cosine of theta. Secant of negative theta equals secant of theta. Both of these say the same thing. Opposite inputs yield equal outputs. That's what makes them even functions. Equal outputs. Both start with E. The odd functions were sine, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent. For example, sine of negative theta equals negative sine of theta. What all four of these statements say is opposite inputs yield opposite outputs. So for an odd function, opposite inputs yield opposite outputs. Odd functions, opposite outputs. Even functions, equal outputs. In this video, we use all identities, Pythagorean, reciprocal, quotient, and even odd, to use a given value of a trig function to determine additional values of trig functions. Although we have done this before using definitions and diagrams, this skill will, will transfer to a more intricate skill useful at a deeper level. For example, if cotangent of x equals 0 0.32, find tangent of x. I'm going to do something a little bit different in the next few videos. Instead of having everything already written out and just going from slide to slide, I'm going to develop it in real time uh, using uh, the touch screen on my, on my laptop. Now, when we did this before, what we would do is draw a picture of something representing cotangent equals 0 0.32 by identifying cotangent as the ratio of x over y or adjacent over opposite, assigning values to both x and y or adjacent and opposite, and then if necessary, use the Pythagorean theorem to find either R or the hypotenuse and then rebuild tangent. But in this case, we can bypass all of that by simply finding the correct identity. The strategy is in transferring the value for one trig function into the value for another trig function is to find an identity that connects the two trig functions. So what identity relates cotangent to tangent? The answer is pretty straightforward, reciprocal identities. Cotangent and tangent are reciprocals, which means one is the reciprocal of the other. Specifically, tangent of x is the reciprocal of cotangent of x. I could have also written that cotangent of x is the reciprocal of tangent of x, but since we're being asked to find what tangent of x equals, I chose the version that starts with tangent of x equals. And since we know cotangent is 0 0.32, we simply have to substitute 0 0.32 underneath the 1, and let's see what this equals. Grab me a calculator. 1 divided by 0.32 is 3.125. So this one was pretty straightforward because the relationship between the trig function whose value we were given, cotangent, and the trig function whose value we were not given, tangent, was pretty straightforward. It was a reciprocal relationship. In upcoming videos, where we work some more examples, the path, the connection from one trig function to the next, will not be as transparent. So this will be a game of, can we find the path from one trig function to another? Uh, I'm not going to give you some examples to try right now. I will wait until the last video showing examples of this.